school. Now, I saw last night we had some technical difficulties, and I was talking to you sideways. So, I'm sorry, uh, I didn't realize that Facebook would not turn when the phone and the camera turn. It stays one direction. So hopefully I'm gonna stay upright all night tonight and see you face to face. So I want you to find your day two package. That's what we're gonna work on tonight, day two. And this lesson is about Paul. Now we know a lot about Paul. We talk about Paul a lot. And this is that famous um, story where Paul gets shipwrecked. And we had actually done this story not too long ago. And I thought, no, nope, we're going to do it again. We're going to go back because it's an important story with important lessons. So we're going to make sure that we do that. Miss Leone has actually got that on a YouTube for us this evening. So we're going to watch that one. So find your materials um, for Paul in your day two package. And then just hang on for a minute and let's watch this video, this YouTube that Miss Leona did on Paul being shipwrecked.
I'm not going to do all of them with you, but I want to do some of them to get you started. And then if you uh, finish this, take a picture of it, send it to me, and remember it's worth 200 Bible bucks. If you're here tonight, you're also getting 200 Bible bucks. Now, some of you are here for your second night. I saw some people on here that I saw last night. So you guys now have 400 Bible bucks. And remember, if you're here every night this week, you get 1,000 Bible bucks plus a bonus of 500 more. That'll make 1,500 Bible bucks. All right, everybody's got their sheet. Here we go. Here's the first one. In this story, Paul was sent with some prisoners to the country of Italy. On the way, there were several problems. Man, sometimes I feel like Paul. Lots of problems. Technical problems, usually. One of the problems was that there was too much cargo. Remember Miss Leona threw the boxes out? That the ship could hardly float. They met another ship and the guard put Paul and the other prisoners on the ship. Now what had Paul done to be considered a prisoner? Yeah, he was telling people about Jesus, and they arrested him and put him in prison. Lots of people, even today, there are a lot of people when they talk about Jesus, they get arrested, they get put in prison. Sometimes they're even killed. So we don't think about that a lot, but that happens all the time. So I'm going to let you finish this, take a picture of it, send it to me, and I'll get you some Bible books. So let's take a look at the other things that we have here. This is a little harder because I didn't give you the answers. This is about Paul, about being shipwrecked. And you're going to have to go to your Bible. I think Acts 28. And I see one down here that's out of Acts 27. So I really want you to work on this one. I put this kind of in here for the fourth and fifth graders because I know sometimes they think stuff is too easy that we do back here. So this is a little bit harder, but there's some first and second graders I know can do this. So if you do this and you get it all completed, take a picture of that and send it to me. And this one I'll give you 300 Bible bucks because it's harder. So we want to do that one. So then on this do not be afraid picture right here, it says... See if you can find 20 lost things. So somewhere in that picture, you're going to find all of these things that are listed over here. There's 20 of them. Like there's an arrow, there's angel wings, there's a bee, there's a Bible. So there's lots of things in there. So it's kind of like one of those Where's Waldo things. But you're looking for 20 different things. So see if you can find all 20 of those. Maybe you do that before you go to bed tonight. Maybe first thing in the morning. So those are the activity sheets here to do tonight, tomorrow, just to kind of keep in your head what was going on with Paul. And, you know, he was on this boat. And there was a very important word there that Miss Leona used. It was called hope. we got to have hope. You know, sometimes we just kind of give up. You know, we've been at home now for like 18 weeks and it's like man we just kind of give up hope and yet we know that our hope is in Jesus we know that God has a plan and we want to make sure that he knows we remember everything he has planned for us and so we should never lose hope now, the other thing that's in your packet is a ping pong ball. And you're like, okay, what does this have to do with anything? Well, when I originally did the lesson, I was going to have two people take a straw and have them blow on the ping pong ball. 
and see who could blow it across the table. They were going to kind of blow against each other. That's kind of that wind that we saw in the story. Well, with the coronavirus, we can't do that. We can't blow things at other people. That would be spreading germs. So you might do this with a straw at home and just blow it across the table uh, just for some fun or see how far you can blow it. But I thought uh, today I would maybe use a different example. And you've all seen these pinwheel things. So if I blow, it didn't turn very well, did it? But if I turn it and blow on it that way, it turns faster. And that's because the pinwheels are kind of like the sail on a ship. They kind of make that wind, they catch that wind and make it go around and around and around and around. So that's what we're gonna talk about. We need to be that pinwheel. We need to be that that catches the wind, the blowing of the Holy Spirit as it comes and blows into our lives and keeps us going. But when we turn from God, we can't get any of that breath of fresh air. We can't get that. And when we can't get that, we can't move, we get stuck. So that's just another good little example. I like to show you things that are in your life, in my life, and help us remember what God is doing for us all the time. So Paul tonight, man of God, always had hope, always had hope. I want you to have hope tonight, okay? That's what I want you to do. So take pictures of those completed worksheets, Send them to me so that you can get Bible bucks, and we'll just keep adding to them. Some of you are going to come back to church with like thousands of Bible bucks, but that's okay because we got some cool new things in the Bible Buck store, and you'll be excited to get them. So that will be cool. So let me pray for you here as we finish up this evening, um, and uh, just remember to always have that hope. Father, we just thank you for tonight, and we just ask that you be with uh, all the boys and girls and their families, and uh, Father, we just want to remember that Paul never gave up hope, even when he was on a ship, and even when he knew he was going to prison and he might be killed, he still had hope. He still believed in you. And Father, we just thank you for that. And we just ask that uh, you give us a night of rest and a night of peace. And let us get up tomorrow morning and say, thank you, Jesus. I've got another day. And uh, I want to do something for you. I want to be kind. I want to be thankful. I want to speak kindly. I want to be gracious uh, to my family and to my friends. And I just want to be who you want me to be. So let us be those sails that pick up your Holy Spirit breathing into us and blowing into us. And let us move with your Holy Spirit. We just thank you for Jesus and what he did for us on the cross. And it's in his name that we pray. Amen. All right, guys. I want you to have a good night. I want you to have a great day tomorrow. I want you to join me back here tomorrow night where we're actually going to be doing day one rather than day three because we traded last night. So day one, which is actually day three, I know that's confusing, but join me back here tomorrow night at seven o'clock. Invite somebody to come along with you. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless. Be good.